There has been a big twist in a hate-related incident at the University of Maryland in College Park. Last week, police charged a man for spray-painting a swastika inside a residence hall. Well, tonight, we're learning that suspect does not fit most people's idea of a white supremacist. According to court records, he's African-American. Fox 5's Evan Lambert is live on campus with these latest details and reaction from students. Evan. Tony, UMD police say 52-year-old Ronald Alford Sr. is the man accused of spray painting this swastika on campus. We went by an address for him in Hyattsville. Take a look at what happened. Hey, are you Ronald? I'm Evan with Fox 5. We're, we just have a couple questions for you. Were, were you the one that was accused of uh, painting the swastika on UMD's campus? No comment. Can you tell us anything about why you would do that? No Did you do it? No comment. As you just saw there, a man who came to the door at Alfred's home didn't quite respond to my question about whether he is the man police have charged in the swastika incident on campus at Hagerstown Hall. But he did say no comment several times when I asked why he might do something like that. Police say on September 27th, Alfred somehow accessed Hagerstown Hall on North Campus and spray painted a swastika on a trash cart. Police identified him and issued him a court summons on Thursday. He's charged with malicious destruction of property and disturbing the operations of a school. We spoke to students about the incident and the fact that the suspect is from a historically oppressed minority group, yet remains accused of this hateful incident. When it happened, we all thought it was a student that went here and lives in the building, so I was kind of like, like, I have to live here. If What if he still goes here? So, I mean, I guess it's kind of scary that, like, a random guy got in the building, but, I mean, if he's being held accountable, I guess it's better. I guess it proves that you don't have to be, like, a certain race to hate people, but, I mean, it's just you would think that someone, like, like especially, like, someone from a race that has been subjected to hate before, you would think, why would you want to reciprocate that to somebody else? But I guess that's the world we live in today. And we are learning that Alfred will not be allowed back on campus. We asked UMD police how he had access to the building on campus, and we have not gotten a response back to that question. Live in College Park, Evan Lambert, Fox 5 Local News.